Hello. Today I was going to talk about this Lumix camera I've got. I don't even know or care what the model is. It's a uh, DCZS80. It is a cheap Chinese made piece of crap, but it has a look I like because it's got a small sensor which gets some grit in the photos, some, I don't know how to explain it, but imperfections that I like, which is weird. Anyhow, it's okay to be weird. The problem with it is, it's so cheap that it's getting an error. It'll say, eh, it might, there we go, this battery cannot be used. Well, there's nothing wrong with the battery, and I happen to know that it's at full charge and everything, and there should be many reasons to update the firmware or anything. Now watch this. If I go in here, and I hold the battery, and I start it, you won't get that error. If I let go, Well, it's not doing it again, so it must be shoved in there pretty well. Let's turn it off. Back on. And it's proven me wrong this time. But anyhow. Well, that figures when you make a video, it doesn't do it, but you can trust me, you've seen the error once. It will happen again. What I'm gonna try to do to fix that error, let's see if we can recreate it to prove to you that it's a constant thing. Well, it won't come back. Well, what I'm going to do in an attempt to remove that anyhow is put tape on it. And we'll see if putting tape on this door right here will shove that battery in there a little further. Now, all that I'm going to do is cut some strips of duct tape. I'll put multiples in here and I'm just going to put them over that door. And I'm going to build up build up some thickness there to shove that battery up tighter. Okay, I've put just two strips in there and the air seems to have gone away. So We will uh, have a look here. And from what I can see, the error is gone. So, that's one way to do it. Uh, the other way I heard was if you take the battery out. I already don't like this fix because that is a little sticky and goofy. I don't think I'd put more than two on there because it was getting hard to close. But there is a spring down in there. And they said to reach down in there and stretch that spring out a little to get some more push. But, uh, yeah, what a hassle. It's, uh, it's the way you do it, though. There's some other things on this camera that I like. But I don't think I'll buy a Lumix again. Maybe I will. See, I like this, uh viewfinder right here too. Not many of your pocket cameras have that. It's a it's a helpful little thing. But it has been a goofy little camera. Lots of weird little problems that most of them solve themselves, but this one I had to intervene. Yeah, that's interfering with the uh mechanism, the door there a little bit. It sticks. Oh well. We'll deal with it. 
I may uh, have to try some other modifications. Till next time, have a good time with your uh, cheap cameras like I do. Bye.